welcome back to another episode of River Smallmouth Adventures. Uh, we're not fishing this week. Uh, I'm going to show you how I've been working trying to get add a trolling motor to my big rig. Uh, the, some of the floats we're on is just a little too long for me. i am got some health issues with my back and uh, getting a little age on me so I can't don't have the stamina I once had. So I need a little assistance, and I put it off as long as I can. So I've been working this week to add a trolling motor. Uh, in this episode, I want to show you how I've added it to it, what and all I've done to get it ready for the river. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. hope you learn something from it. Uh, I, I did a lot of research on YouTube and on the internet to figure out what I wanted and took some ideas from one person and other ideas from other. So let's see what I've come up with. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. For my trolling motor mount, I got a one objective mount to attach to the kayak. Uh, as you can see, the Jackson has a, a dip here. About three-eighths inch or something so you have to get an adapter to raise the mount up enough so it'll fit flush uh, and this like I said this is a 2016 uh, Jackson big rig and the mount didn't exactly fit so I had to cut about a quarter inch off the back of it to get the bolt holes to line up and it to fit into this groove which was no problem I just took a jigsaw and cut it out and then everything just bolts right to it there that is and it's solid as it can be now to wire it up here in the back I used a three-quarter inch LB uh, electrical conduit LB uh, if you use white white is not made sun resistant UV resistant so it will deteriorate over time but if you use electrical it's made to withstand the sunlight. Uh, I attached it, like I said here, you attach it here, you'll have to grind out the LB a little bit and sand the shaft of your trolling motor shaft down a little bit to get that to fit on. Uh, I put, I didn't glue it, I used this, like I said, eye bolt uh, to hold it on. I put some uh, latex sealer underneath when I put it on. Okay, then there's four wires comes out of your trolling motor. And I can show you what I did in there. Hang on. There's four wires coming out of the trolling motor. As you can see, I've got two wires running back in towards the kayak. Uh, you just attach the red to red and the black to black and just tape off the ends of your other two wires. You can stick them down back down in the shaft, but I lift them up in case I ever want to use them again. Then, I got this watertight connector that I run the wires through. Uh, I use a half inch uh, sleeve inside of the LB I ground the inside of the, or this is a three quarter to a half inch. Uh, and then this waterproof connector, you can get a whole bag of them off of Amazon for like, I don't know, $9 or $10 or something, all different sizes. Uh, then I just glued the connector inside of the LB and then ran my wires through it. And then this protective conduit uh, I ran and this nut will hold it snug inside I taped it to help keep some of the water out of it out here and run down and then here is your waterproof connector that plugs into the kayak it has an o-ring on it so it won't let water down into the connection itself so there's the electrical for the trolling motor part. Run the wires from the connector 
up to the kayak itself to the plug right here. This will be under the seat. I've taken the seat out so I can show you better. You can see everything. And this is the plug. If I'm not using it, it's got a cover you can put on it. And then it's just a simple connector. Plug right in. Okay, and then I've showed you my control box before. Now I've got it set up. We've got there's a disconnect. I'm gonna hook a bunt like a, a string or a bungee to this. It'll attach to my life vest. That way if I fall out, all you have to do is pull that out and that cuts all the power going back when it comes in. And I've got my battery meter. Here's the forward, off, and reverse switch. And then here's my control. Variable speed. The battery meter's got two things on it. It'll tell how much battery life is left and how much amperage is drawing by mashing this button. Okay, and then out of the box, here's the back of the box. There's two more of those waterproof connectors I was telling you about. You see those. Uh, there's the power coming from the trolling motor to the box. And here is the power coming from the battery, which I'm going to put in front of the kayak, back and enter into the box. I hope you can see how I've got that. Both of the connectors, they're waterproof. Uh, the box is waterproof. I've sealed everything on the box. So that's how I've got it set up. Now for the steering. Uh, I'm real tall. I'm 6'3". So uh, foot pedal steering wasn't an option for me because I need all the space I can get to put my long legs in the kayak. Uh, so I opted for a stick steer, tiller steer. So what I did, I got two inch and an eighth, I think, U-bolts. And I put them around and I had this piece of one inch aluminum tubing left over from where I built my uh, saddles for my kayak on my kayak trailer. I had this piece left. So I attached that as you can see and then I come out here <coughs> and put another eye bolt and I double nut on the bottom and on the top that way it can swivel as this swivel. As you can see here I stand back so you can see it better. See so it. Okay. Now uh, I got a an adjustable paint pole. Is what I had. I'm probably going to change this, but that's what I use. Uh, this little fitting here that I use come off of a, a sander that I had for that would attached to the paint pole. I'm going to put a quick connect on here and take this bolt out. I didn't have one. The one I have is too big, so I'm going to have to get a smaller one to fit into it. This way, I can take the pole out, unscrew it, or I can use the disconnect and just disconnect it if I want to take the trolling motor completely off. Uh, I've designed this so that I can take it off and on with ease. All I have to do is unstep unsnap my rope, unsnap this, and unhook the plug, and then loosen the trolling motor and it'll lift right off. Okay, now I don't have this set up up front yet, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach the pole to this rod holder. That way it'll slide in and out. 
and still be out of my way when I'm fishing. So that's how I've got it. Well, that's how I've done it so far. I've still got several things to do. I've still got to work on my battery box and get all that set up, but I wanted to show you what I've done so far. Uh, give you some ideas if you're looking to add a trolling motor to your own kayak. Uh, so if you have any questions or any comments, please post them on my River Smallmouth Adventures page on YouTube or on Facebook. Uh, I'll help you any way I can. Uh, give you some ideas of uh, the products that I've used. I can tell you what, where I got them and what I used. Uh, any way I can help, I'd be glad to help you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the river. Thank you.